water signs pisces cancer and scorpio welcome to my channel this is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading for those of you in a situationship meaning a romantic or sexual relationship that is not considered to be formal or established we're going to find out what is the most likely outcome of this situationship and i got this idea to do this reading because recently a friend told me that she was in a situationship she felt the guy was using her and wasting her time so i thought this reading could be useful for those of you in a situationship <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister for me to say this word um and you know what so funny because when she told me that i've heard of that that term before that slang right situationship but to me it always to me um I always thought it's like an open relationship, complicated relationship, something like that. But anyway, let's get your reading started, okay? Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Sorry I sound bad as well because I'm still coughing. Uh, it's really annoying. And thank you so much for those of you sending me emails, you know, giving me tips on how to get rid of this cough. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio in a situationship. Where is this connection going? What's the most likely outcome? Okay. So when I say someone or somebody, that means it could be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with, okay? So Nine of Cups here can indicate someone is just happy that they have their cake and eat it too, all right? And we've got the hangman here, comfortable in a position that is uncomfortable but comfortable. I hope that makes sense to you. It's like the hangman is upside down, right? So this is not a very comfortable position. However, if you look at him or her, that's not gender specific, hands are behind the neck, and the legs are crossed, and this is not a comfortable position, but this person looks comfortable. So it's something that I feel, you know, obviously it's not ten of cups, it's nine of cups, right? Ten is completion number, it's, it's a perfect number in tarot, but the nine is almost perfect, but it's not perfect. And someone here may not be very comfortable, but will do, you know, for now. That's what I'm getting here. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. And four pentacles here for me can indicate also that someone may be afraid to get hurt, right? Afraid to get hurt, afraid to open up their heart, even, and, you know, just feeling contented for how things are right now at this moment between you and this person. Again, it could be you or this person feeling this way. And we've got the world here, afraid to, like, start this new chapter. Um, the new chapter would be to start a relationship that is established, that is official. And the devil here is in reverse. Hmm. So, afraid... To either, I feel like the devil can get fear, okay? Fear in regards of starting this new chapter or getting into a serious relationship. Fear of getting hurt because someone may have a very jaded perception in regards to a relationship in general. But then there's also a very selfish energy here with the Nine of Cups, right? Someone could be very, very selfish and they, they don't want to get hurt and then they want to have their cake and eat it too afraid to you know get into a serious relationship because they again have maybe very negative connotation when it comes to relationship in general so we've got the two swords here in reverse someone is going to make a choice we've got the king of pentacles here in reverse as well i'm going to pull out a few more cards i see both of you arguing five of ones both of you will argue we'll have this fight whether to keep this connection afloat or to end it, okay? I feel like the Queen of Cups here in reverse can indicate, could be you, yeah? You may be feeling um, 
again, it could go vice versa, but someone here feels they're not being appreciated. Someone here may feel like they're exhausting their, they're exhausting their feelings or exhausting their emotions or just feeling like they're not being loved here because there's one person here whom is very, very selfish, right? So I sense someone here may stop. Uh, someone here may stop. Either you or this person stop investing emotionally in this person because they feel un unappreciated. They feel that it's not being reciprocated. Yep. These feelings are not being reciprocated. Because again, there's this energy, Nine of Cups, of someone just being really selfish, right? Wanting their cake and eat it too. Don't want a committed relationship. While the other person could be feeling like I'm wasting my time or that I don't want to waste any more of my time. I don't want to um, invest emotionally or end up investing emotionally in this connection. <coughs> One second, please. So I feel like with the Six of Swords here, someone is going to, that one person feeling used, feeling unappreciated, feeling like this person is too selfish. I feel like this person is going to try and move on from this connection. It could be you, Water Signs. If you're the one feeling unappreciated, being used or not being reciprocated, you are going to move on from this connection. I feel like you're going to walk away from this connection. Unless roles are being reversed, yeah? We got the three of cups here in reverse, and we've got the page of swords in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, or for a lot of you, water signs. I feel like if this is you again, roles can be reversed. But someone is gonna feel like I'm not happy. Three of cups here. I'm not happy. I'm suspicious. Page of swords here in reverse. I'm suspicious. Is this person using me? Is this person? being selfish and someone is going to make a choice two of swords here and five of wands can indicate when someone is going to move on from this connection or walk away from this connection there will be an argument there will be a protest five of wands either your person is going to prote protest you walking away or you're going to protest this person walking away depends who is the one who actually wants uh, a serious relationship and the other person feels like they're contented just being in this situation, right? Yep, someone is going to make up their mind with Eight of Swords in reverse that this person, King of Pentacles, uh, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, could also be somebody like you, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, uh, can be any sign, any fixed signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like someone is going to realize that this person is not going to commit or doesn't want to commit right now and I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to be emotionally involved or invested in this connection anymore. But the death here is in reverse, so that could be a chance of coming back as well. I see an ending or somebody fighting, arguing. Uh, both of you might be, it could turn into a very dramatic thing, as in both of you might be fighting or arguing with each other. And then someone will talk about leaving this situationship. But then the death here in reverse feels like someone will also try and want to fight for this connection. Someone may also want to return and revive this connection. I hope it's not one of those situationships where, you know, it ends and then you come back again and then you have sex again. And then, you know, and someone is like, yeah, Nine of Cups, I still have my cake and eat it too. I don't have to be committed. So I think you have to be careful if this is you, water signs, if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to commit. Ten of Cups here is in reverse. Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, yeah. I definitely see an on and off kind of a connection here, a situationship here. Someone will tell the truth and express how they feel, what they think, and might cut someone off here. Because it feels like Ten of Cups here is in reverse. Someone may want a future in this connection while the other person is just like, no, I'm fine. I'm happy where I'm at right now. But then Eight of Cups here is in reverse. So I definitely see someone is going to uh, return. Either you or this person. There is going to be a breakup. And then someone will try and return. Again, someone may fight for this. May want to fight for this connection. 
at this moment this is how it's looking okay i'm not gonna lie and say like oh yeah both of you are gonna get married because ten of cups here is in reverse it could be but it could also indicate a delay because when cards are in reverse can it can indicate a delay right <coughs> I feel like both of you are going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in this situation until somebody figures something out here and becoming less selfish with the Nine of Cups. Um, water signs. This is my personal advice, okay? I always tell my friends this, that uh, you wait for nobody. Wait for nobody and just keep moving forward, meeting new people, especially if you're a woman. I feel like we shouldn't give in too quickly, um, be physically intimate with someone so quickly. A little kiss here and there, it's fine, but to be actually, you know, sexually involved with somebody too early on in a relationship, I think, um, you know, guys don't really appreciate something that they can obtain easily, right? Because men are different. They they're hunters and they can be very competitive so when they really want you they haven't gotten something from you yet um, they will do the best that they can to try and impress you right if they obtain something from you that is to them it's like oh that was that was easy I didn't have to work that hard then they're gonna appreciate that thing less or appreciate you less okay and um, imagine if someone gives you something for free, right? If someone, you know, sometimes we get free samples, free something free. You're not gonna, you're not gonna treasure that free thing, right? You're gonna treasure more something that you worked so hard for, and you paid, you know, like a lot of money, <laughs> and uh, and then you bought it yourself, but you had to work really hard for it. You're gonna appreciate or treasure that thing. Uh, more than something that somebody gives it to you for free. Am I right? So I feel like I always tell my friends this, like just collect them and may the best men win and don't get too, you can kiss a little bit, whatever, but being really sexually involved, putting in your time and effort, you know, being being there for them every time when they call you, whether it's a booty call or, you know, go for dinner and then, and then sex after all of that I feel like don't just don't give it to them <laughs> that quickly they're not gonna appreciate it and they, if if they can get whatever they want now without having to do more or to to make the relationship official then then they become lazy right um, then they're like I don't have to this nine of cups just makes me feel that way right um but you know there are also very very rare cases where i've heard as well people who have gotten into a one night stand and it, it turned into like a serious relationship and getting married but that's very 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 rare um i feel like again especially if you're a woman for men to appreciate you 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 can't give in that quickly. <laughs> yeah, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And you wait for nobody, okay? Wait for nobody. Keep moving forward. Collect them as many as you want to, but don't be physically intimate too quickly. And um, make sure that your goals are aligned, what you want, what they want. Some people want to have kids. Some people don't want to have kids. And um, who knows? better to talk things out better to make sure that both of you want the same thing before you um be physically intimate with them yeah <laughs> that's my whole point don't have sex too early on in a relationship before both of you have the same agreement or understanding that this is going to be a proper serious relationship all right what a science this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i hope it helped you in some way shape or form i'm open for personal readings so you like to book me my information is in the description box below and as usual i post your videos almost every single day with different topics different questions but they're still valid readings because they're still new check them out if you want to um it's on the bonus compilation playlist
<coughs> Sorry for the cough. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. Take care of all the signs. Bye.